of money. If you control money, you control the power. Uh, and so that is their agenda. Um, and obviously they want to control the population. Bill Gates, God bless him, um, has resigned from his position as chairman of Bill and, um, the, sorry, the uh, Microsoft and as uh, the chairman of Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. He is now pushing the vaccine agenda. Uh, he has developed technology. He is responsible for a lot of this. Um, so please, those who've held him as a innovator, he is innovating for the demise of humanity. Uh, vaccines have, have always been a danger to humanity uh, and they contain um, pathogens, I think it's called, um, that, that are harmful to, to our human body. Anyway, so that's what's the holistic high level summary. There's a lot of information that I've summarized just to give you the, the highlights of what's occurring. So what does the body of Christ do now? What do we do? Well, firstly, the body of Christ is changing. It's the changing of the guard. This is now the time of the kingdom remnant to come to the fore who've been prepared for such a time as this. This is the time that people who were not fitting into churchy, normal restrictions, who've got thoughts and assignments and mandates beyond the church. This is the time that God is going to reposition them. Basically, we're up next. It's our time now. It's a defining moment for the kingdom to rectify some of the things that are going wrong. So that is one of the things you'll see around the world. There'll be a collaboration of kingdom people who will come together, combine resources, collaborate to affect change and create an alternative system. I've been working on this for five years and there are a number of people around the world who are doing the same. Secondly, you will see a change of church. Um, the, one of the reasons why, and this is the last point I'll make, that there's been a ubiquitous shutdown of worship and prayer and uh, congregating of religious organizations is because they are making way spiritually for the presentation of the Antichrist. We create, and this is a revelation that I want to come back and teach you more on, when we pray, when we worship corporately, we create a frequency, we create vibrations, we create a move of God. We call it the fire of God, we call it the, the power of God, we call it the spirit of God. But effectively what it is, is that we as spirit-filled, clean living beings are, are generators of spiritual energy, spiritual power, might. Let me use terms that will not scare you. Um, power, anointing. These are electrical magnetic uh, frequencies that emanate from us. When we listen to worship and pray, it literally heals our body. So when we're in the presence of God, this is why we have healing as a byproduct, because what we're exposed to physically heals ourselves. That's why he says, I am the Lord thy God that healeth. His presence alone heals. People get healed in worship services. Prophecies and other communication frequencies and information flows greater when we are corporately worshipping, when we are praying corporately. And so they have deliberately shut all of that down and our network spiritually, for want of a better term, so they can pave the way from the Antichrist uh, to come to the fore. Otherwise, he would have been restricted, withheld by the universal concert of prayers and worship of God's people. And so this is what's happening. It's deliberate. It's not the coronavirus that is contagion, uh, sorry, contagious or a contagion that we can't congregate. It's because they systematically have dismantled for the first time in human history, the corporate gathering of religious people to pray and worship because it changes the spiritual atmosphere so they can have more power. I wouldn't doubt if there's sacrifices and different things that are going on behind the scenes as well to empower what this move is. And trust me, they're moving at lightning speed. Within a matter of weeks, we are gonna be shocked by the revelation and the implementation of the things that they will be doing. The vaccines will be a matter of months away, if not days. The new currency will be a matter of days away, months away. Um, the whole new economic system, which I have created one that I'm going to implement regardless 
um, as a strategy to counter what is happening. And I've been prophesying this for 15 years, that the, the kingdom of God needs its own economic system. Whilst you're all having happy, clappy church and feeling good, some of us have been strategizing on the blueprint of God to advance his kingdom, to save much souls alive and to preserve a posterity. Anyway, because of time, let me conclude here. Best thing we can do right now is to raise our frequency. Live clean, live righteously, and remove and detox our bodies from anything that would affect the flow of God's anointing on our lives. The only counter we have is prayer and worship. It creates its own force field of energy and force field of frequency. Heaven's frequency will protect you to some degree whilst God is working on the strategy that he's going to implement. I pray this has helped somebody, share this with somebody, forward this that the world can understand this is happening, that we can come together, strategize as a kingdom remnant, because God said that he doesn't get involved with the affairs of man because he gave dominion to man in Genesis chapter one. That's why so many heinous and terrible things happen in our world because God is not running the world. He works and influences the good men. Evil prevails when good men say nothing, as they've said. So what God is trying his best to do is influence people who will live right, live clean, pure hands, clean heart, not lifting up their soul unto vanity, nor swearing deceitfully with lies, not manipulating people to gain. True people of God that he can speak through, work through, so he can have an impact on the earth. But what he has said um, from my time in prayer is that this now has forced his hand that he is going to move as God. He has to intervene as God. And I think as we ubiquitously, globally raise up our prayers and our, our, our fasting, which helps our uh, electromagnetic flow, by the way, uh, intermittent fasting strengthens our immune system, which strengthens our, our, our electromagnetic flow. Electrolytes like lime and different things that we used, which we thought were spiritual, actually are scientific. They improve the strength of our body. They strengthen us. So olive oil and different things have components that have electrolyte uh, elements in it that strengthen our physical body. Fasting does that, helps our immune system immensely. So we can fight against the corona, fight against the radiation of the frequency, but more importantly, create a heavenly sound that will combat what the enemy's up to for now until God implements. God bless you. We love you. This is a whole new era. This is the new thing God has been talking about. But thank God, this kingdom he will give to none other. This will be hewed out the mountain without hands. It will drive away all other dispensational kingdoms like chaff in the wind. So this is our time for us to embrace what God is doing and to be, if ever time we need to be fervent in spirit, serving the Lord, it is now. So I encourage you, I adore you, I, I really plead with you, let's be unified, let's be righteous, let's spend time in prayer, and we need to use this time lastly to, to reset. We need to use this time to reset our priorities, reset our routine, reset our reinvestment in ourselves, ready ourselves for what is coming, reinvent ourselves if we have to in line with God's purpose and raising debt for our life. We have to reach out to other people. We need to share this information that the unbelievers will now believe what we've been saying about Revelation 13 for hundreds of years, 200 years to be precise since the Bible was translated. We need to reestablish righteousness and our relational connection with God like never before and reinvent in knowledge. Do not waste time on entertainment. Spend time reading, studying, pertinent information, the Word of God. Really study to show ourselves approved at this time. The work that need not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the Word of Truth. God bless you. I know this is incredibly long, but with all due respect, this information is too important to just give you a 30 second overview. Pray about it, submit it to your prophets, submit it to your, your leaders, submit it to whoever, but this is the reality of what is happening. But I promise you, God is gonna raise up a remnant with their own kingdom currency, with their own kingdom economy, with their own banking systems, with their own information highway with a new type of church that the world has not seen. And I've been prophesying this for years, but I've been working behind the scenes also with a few other like-minded nobility members to affect this change that we knew was coming. God bless you. 
I pray this doesn't scare you. God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power and love and of a sound mind. This is our time that we stand still and see the salvation of our Lord. And we trust in our God, lean on our own understanding and all our ways acknowledging, for he's directing our path like you wouldn't believe. This is the time we need to know that he is a strong tower and the righteous runneth unto him and are saved from radiation and frequencies that have been adversely affecting our bodies. We need to know that he is with us. Okay, so stay strong, stay anointed, share this information, and I'll be back to you with more details.